I want to do a little test. This is a nitric oxide test. And to do this test, you can purchase these Berkeley Life test strips and they are going to test the amount of nitric oxide in your salivary liquids, or actually in your mouth, indirectly. Uh, if you want to know more about exactly how the test works, you can go to the Berkeley Life uh, website. But basically, it, it, you're provided with these little test strips, and one end is where you put the saliva from your mouth, and then when you want to do the test, you're going to fold this little strip in half and push these ends together. And that is going to give you your result. So you can put the, the salivary end into your mouth or you can spit into a, 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 a teaspoon or something and then dip the end into it. I'm going to put it directly into my mouth because people want to know that this is really my saliva. And to generate some saliva first, and then wet that little end. And this is going to tell us how much nitric oxide is in being generated. And the results come, you, you can see the different colors. The darker the color, the better your nitric oxide levels. And as you get older, as you approach sort of my age, usually nitric oxide levels go down, which is a concern. And you should work at keeping your nitric oxide levels up with good diet and, and nutrition. And I want to just show you uh, that I have a bright pink level, which would test very well here in the high levels. And I just want to let everybody who's promoting this idea that mouthwash damages nitric oxide levels and tell you that for 40 plus years, I have used three mouth rinses twice a day, which would be six mouth rinses per day, every day, sometimes three times a day when I'm doing special talks and so on. And I have done this and I still manage somehow in this myth out there that mouthwash damages nitric oxide. That is a myth. There is one mouthwash called chlorhexidine, which is by prescription. And chlorhexidine will damage the production of nitric oxide. Now, if you don't know about nitric oxide, don't worry about it. This is quite technical. But there are a lot of people who go around telling people not to use mouthwash. And my complete mouth care system utilizes three mouthwashes each time you use it. And I want you to be very confident that this is not damaging the good bacteria in your mouth. It is actually promoting them if you use the specific mouth rinses in my system. I'm not giving a blanket statement to all mouthwash, but I am telling you that when you use my complete mouth care system, even if you are worried about specific mouth rinses, and we will talk about that. That's a video I'm going to do from about the mouth care system from start to finish. But truly, this is a myth, an internet myth that, that mouthwash damages the good bacteria or damages nitric oxide levels. Now, I am going to tell you that if you rinse with water, this is Avion water, in a glass, I'm going to drink it. I'm just gonna wash my mouth with it because everything you drink, believe it or not, is a mouth wash. This is why to say mouthwash damages the healthy bacteria in your mouth is insanity. So one more sip of Avion. I'm just drinking it, but basically washing my mouth with it. And now let's do that test again. So I'll get the saliva in my mouth. And do this test, which a lot of these people who want to show how bad mouthwash is, don't do the test immediately after you have washed your mouth with anything, or you're going to find no matter a completely false reading. So you're washing everything from your mouth with 
water or Listerine or anything is going to wash your mouth and the outcome will be that you have decreased your nitric oxide level. You can see that mine has gone from bright pink to pale. Not because of mouth, not because of Listerine or anything, but because I have washed my mouth. Okay, I hope this is clear to you all. I can't do it any better, I don't think, to tell you that these people out there, doctors and the highly respected people in the natural world, are completely wrong about mouthwash. There is one mouthwash, I'll say it again, chlorhexidine, prescription strength chlorhexidine that is prescribed to some patients. I have never prescribed it in 50 years of being a dentist. I would not recommend, I would never use chlorhexidine. So be warned, that is a mouthwash that you may want to avoid. But other than that, if you follow my complete mouth care system, you can do it in confidence. I hope that's clear. Thank you.